Yeah, it came out super blurry for the first 30 seconds again. But welcome everyone. We actually have a video of rematches here where I made a new team right before I was uh, doing this rematch that centers around something kind of like not that great unless you can really get it to work, which is Baton Pass Swoobat. I also have Jolteon, Sableye, Cinderace, Dragapult, and Porygon 2. My first opponent, Mike, who you cannot see his name right now, as Zapdos, Lycanroc, Spectreer, Drapion, um, Bisharp, and uh, Garchomp. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Hey, look, there it is. <laughs> nice. So I'll pause it again just for a second so that you guys can see it. Yeah, these are my teams, or the teams, um, I don't know if Mental Herb is great for Swoobat, but I did try it, um, and, you know, if we can baton pass our boosts to Porygon 2, pretty threatening. You'll see that in this match, I might have actually got more out of passing my boosts to Jolteon. It's debatable. It's debatable. It's just that unfortunately, like, this Swoobat setup is not that great, like, unless you really know what you're doing. And, like, obviously facing two dark Pokemon, not that great either. I still decided to Dynamax Dragapult. <laughs> Amnesia. So now I have plus two defense, plus four special defense. rough. That is rough. Did I just go for Amnesia again? Calm Mind is gonna be better. I should have used Calm Mind. Yeah, what was that? Alright, well... So... This turn... Is... The first turn where I potentially made like, a losing play. And so I should have Thunderbolt Drapion. I don't think it would have knocked it out, honestly. But it is what I should have done. Because I forgot that Drapion has knockoff. And knockoff does a lot. Yeah. Whatever. So that's Max Spideff, Porygon 2. Could have been plus 3 special attack right now, and that would have been crazy. Might have just ran through their whole team if that was the case. So 
So, the real problem is that Drapion's gonna want to knock off Porygon 2, which is gonna suck. Like, it's. I still have a ridiculous amount of bulk right now, but like, that Eviolite is helping so much. Like, even more. So now we're just plus 6 without the Eviolite. Plus 2 defense, though. And only plus one special attack. Crit. Garchomp is not a problem for Porygon 2. At all. And we do expect ourselves to be bulky enough to not worry about it. Um, okay. That did a, a little, you know? Didn't do nothing. So we definitely want to Ice Beam. Garchomp. That's good. That's good. So we're definitely going to need to recover next turn. Which, like, it'd be great to be able to Ice Beam this Zapdos, but just not going to get to. But let's see how much damage they actually do. So I have 69 health, right? Yeah, not just a joke. <laughs> it's a number. <laughs> I actually would have been able to use Ice Beam one time if I wanted to. Um, we're gonna have to see how much this next one does, though. Because, like, I would have been in very, very low red right now. But they max guard. And that is pretty great. So... Something that is highly unfortunate, though, is that this is my last turn of Trick Room. So, I really, like, am in a pretty rough position here. I can recover again and just hope to just bulk my way through it until I get another Trick Room off. But we'll see what happens. I think they were going for Sucker Punch. So, you know, all we can really do is Trick Room and, and hope that we survive this next turn and just stall them until we get a chance to do something. Rising Voltage freaking bips me. Like, <laughs> crit. If they had a Scope Lens, good for them. That was pretty ridiculous. Like, so before we get into this next crazy match with Niter, let's see what happened in the first time we faced uh, this guy Mike. I cannot be 100% sure that it's the same Mike, it's just kind of like 
um, same name, same number, you know, so, but obviously 666 is a pretty common number that people use. Anyways, let's listen to Past Me. Original Galith Excadrill teams that I made, so, we do have a pretty short video, actually. These three matches went by pretty quick. Uh, you might have seen that this first opponent does have a glass tree earth and a twerkel uh, and some other stuff, so let's see. Being a little clippy. That's a little rough. We gotta, we gotta so deal with the kind twerk of running like a uh, soft trick room team now. I have a team that can use trick room or not. And looks like we are actually going to reset the weather. Good idea. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely going to do big damage on the Venusaur. Nice. That turn was huge. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, that's honestly probably a good idea. I don't think we have to worry very much about what the Torkoal is going to do. Gigalith, on the other hand, is a big threat to that glass trigger. We can only hope. We and we also have weakness policy too, so, you know. Technically... If we set off their weakness policy, they'll get to move, and then, you know, they could use like a really powerful Max Quake. I don't think it's going to knock out uh, Gigalith, but we'll see what happens. So I could have maybe protected? They might actually just target the Indeedee. I could have maybe protected Gigalith, um, baited them into activating my weakness policy. without activating their weakness policy first. Yeah. Let's see oh, what it does. They target the indeed. <sighs> oh. oh man. I should have protected. A crit. Okay. Okay. And I was sitting here like because I rewatched this really quick and I do lose this one and I didn't think there was oh, any way I could have won that but actually Two protecting Gigalith that so. turn would have done it. Yeah, we can bring out Vicavolt. One one flash cannon's going to get the job done. Torkoal's going to go down. That might be better for us, actually. Oh, this game was really oh winnable. <clears throat> Unless no, the max guard happens. Which they're probably gonna max guard just based on how this is going, so. <laughs> uh, why you do this?
Okay, so I mean I did it right that time. And I mean, Excadrill would have been a pretty threatening Dynamax Pokemon too, you know, if I had waited. Um, so the thing that I forgot at this point, like until right after I chose my moves, is that Blastier has a defense boost. So I was like, oh yeah, just like, use Iron <laughs> Terrible decision. Which, I mean, let's be honest. There's a really good chance that... Can you imagine if that had not been enough to knock out Piccavolt though? Like, it was going to. I don't think I could have won. No? Nope. Could have won if you protected the Giggle at that first turn past me, buddy. Alright, so <laughs> that was how our first match went with that player, if it was that player that we were facing. And. Let's see this rematch with Niter. This was the rematch of the century because it went very, very crazily. Um, I was trying the Swoobat lead, which is not great. Um, I now understand. But, you know, had to give her a try. His team also looks kind of meme when you think about it, like Clefairy, Pikachu. Um, oh, he has a Kanto team. Good for him. Good for him. All right, Niter. Wish you could have seen my Kanto team. My Kanto team's not very good in this format, though. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's actually, that's a really smart move. Because I know I was not running stored power a lot, or, or like actually using it a lot. So, <clears throat> we can hope they have like wise glasses, or I mean wide lens. But he does have to dash on Butterfree. That's not great. What's it gonna do, though? Interesting. Interesting. Well, with one more... Um... Speed boost, Swoobat will be the quickest thing on the field, like, for sure. Oh, it already is. <laughs> it already is. Ugh. So, just because I know what Pikachu's about to do, that technically was a bad turn. I should have used Max Steel Spike. Cause, yeah, that Volt Tackle, like... I mean, the Volt Tackle was probably gonna knock me out whether or not I got a defense boost, but... You never know. We do have Porygon 2 and Cinderace in the back, which if we could have transferred those boosts to Porygon 2 would have been great.
Okay. Okay. And we did bring Porygon 2 out this turn, which is really good because, you know, bringing out Cinderace first Dragonite would not have gotten us very far at all. Bring out Porygon 2 versus Dragonite. This will be good. And we will be quicker than the Dragonite with uh, Dragapult, so... What are we gonna have to do, Max Wormwind? Max Wormwind, Ice Beam, and just hope that it does a lot, like... That was because of the multi skill. They have weakness policy, Dragonite. Come on, man. But we do have Assault Vest Dragapult, so they. That's probably a hurricane right there. Oh my. All right. Would have been nice if that was a knockout. Um, I don't think I don't know if we got the special attack boost on switching out. So we're gonna trick room. Which if I could have taken out Pikachu this turn, that might have been the better thing to do. Shh. Okay, yeah, we probably needed that trick room. But, if we could have taken out Pikachu this turn, we should have. So even though we're saying like, yeah, you know, say Porygon 2, whatever, uh, you'll see. Oh man. <laughs> well, we're not going to take out Clefairy with this Iron Head, so... It almost would have been better to target Pikachu this turn with the Iron Head. It's just that they might use Follow Me. That actually might have saved us, though, like that flinch. That flinch was really important. Because um, the trick room basically just screws me over a little bit. But what we are going to need to do is get rid of Pikachu as quick as possible. So they could use follow me. Um, but Pikachu's the quickest thing on the field right now, so... And Clefairy might even be the slowest thing on the field. <sighs> Probably would have lost if we didn't do that, though. Alright. 13 health Cinderace, 21 health Porygon 2. But we got this Clefairy. Recover. Oh. 
<laughs> so, you look at this end game, and it's like, oh god, great, now it's just Clefairy and Porygon 2, like, two ridiculously bulky Pokemon that are just gonna sit here. And I was like, well, this is fine, like, they probably can't recover. Yeah, they have life to do, they can recover. So now it's pretty much just like a all-out war between these two crap Pokemon that can't defeat each other. And I was gonna be salty if I lost this too, cause like I wanna beat this, I want this rematch win, like, <laughs> but now I have to deal with this because I didn't take out Pikachu earlier in the game. I just thought maybe if I can freeze them it would be nice. They lower my special attack. <laughs> uh, no freeze. So then I decided, alright, well, fine, let's get a paralysis because like, if we can paralyze them too, it's going to be really important because this paralysis could potentially screw me over really bad. And we are going to- look, I literally started playing by the timer and I was like, let's just- let's just give it a couple. Because <laughs> I am going to have to literally win this by the timer, I don't have any other choice. Like. And I think that the win by the timer, like, I don't know exactly how it calculates it, but I think it's whoever has the most health at the, at the end, like, not even percent of health bar, but, like, actual health, like, so this is gonna be pretty crappy, like, we did get the paralysis there, though, right? Yeah, so we per we per paralyzed them, and look at how much longer this match took. We had eight whole more minutes of me and this dude duking it out. Like, <laughs> just, we can't do anything to each other. Eight minutes of just trying to defeat each other and not being able to do anything. Another special attack lowering. I probably had like minus six attack special attack by the end of this. It's pulling teeth. But Clefairy probably has like 300 health max ish, like close at, at level 100. Um, while Porygon 2, as you can see, has like 380. So, I mean, whatever, we do know that we have more health than them. And let's, uh, let's, let's fast forward. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 no, I want to go back. Let's go back to there. So I was, we started getting to the very end, and I was like, alright, two minutes left until the battle ends. And I just need to start recovering. I got two paralysis in a row right there. And I was like, and I tried using Trick Room so that I would be slower than them, so that I could get my um, healing after them. Because I actually lost a game work, uh, one time because I was faster than them, and, and the time ran out.
no paralysis that time. I could have actually been really screwed over if I had been. And they get paralysis. Which means... They have to go for either life do or try to get damage on me. And so look at our health bars. We have like... Almost exactly the same amount of health. I would argue that he has a little bit more than me percentage-wise, actually. But I mean... <laughs> oh. My god. That match sucked. But... It was fun to rematch Niter again. I think that is like the fifth time we faced him and like we've won maybe two, three times. I don't know. He's he's gotten a couple good wins on me, I'll say that. But hope you enjoyed. Yeah, the last win he got on me sucked. Because like they he dynamaxed Heat Tran and I like totally could have won if I had just dynamaxed somebody one turn before and they cause they double protected Zapdos and I was like, oh my god. And, like, they actually won because they got a double protect on Zapdos. But, yeah. So, you know, fun, fun rematching old arch nemeses. It's, like, this guy, uh, Dusty Sparks, and, like, Ski I've faced more times than anybody else. Which is cool. So, you know, Niter, Dusty Sparks, Ski, what up? Fun times. <laughs> and, uh, see you guys watching. Have a good one.